I shouldn't be surprised, but the ability for the young women to take on the game plan has been really pleasing and, and you know, I don't think I could have got this much out of men in such a short time. Uh, men tend to sort of don't listen to you too well, but the girls, the girls tend to listen intently and if I say one thing wrong, they challenge me on it straight away and, and that's what we want, so. For, for people who wanted to play, for people who couldn't play, for people who were told to give up the game and for supporters, it now says we're all the same and that we all have the same opportunities. But um, I think the thing about AFLW and why it's been so successful is because it's incredibly important for little girls and little boys to see women doing the exact same things as men. For the women in this room tonight, their names are going to be in the history books of the Hawks, just like the AFLW players. Two Hawks and VFL women's team wearing number nine, Melissa Kai. <laughs> A great thing for me when I thought about it today. I thought that question might be coming up. Uh, to think that maybe it's quite possible I might like, end my career in the Hawks um, means a lot to me, so can't wait. And now uh, you, of course, played in the AFL Women's with uh, Collingwood, oh, so having. <laughs> you're in the brand of gold now, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You've been put there for a reason, and these guys will follow you, so uh, just enjoy it and uh, do the simple things well. Yeah, it's great to see the club expand. Um, it says here, welcome to the families, exactly that. Um, it's a testament to how well the line is going at the moment, um, how well the club's going at the moment, um, and to give the girls an opportunity to play at the VFL level, um, to then hopefully go on and play AFL footy means a lot, to see them come through as well. Um, as part of the club is, is huge for me as well, and, and for the guys too.